to my art vlog my name is jesse i go by base on the internet uh place how do you guys feel about this consistency i got on it feels weird having a video ready every week even though i'm finishing editing every sunday is when i finish i upload it's up monday anyways i finally went somewhere this week um i've been i've been really addicted to legos for some reason and that's the topic of this video do you guys have any hobbies outside of art technically i would think i think legos are still kind of like art you're creating still anyways do you guys have any hobbies besides art like what do you guys do when you're not drawn do you guys game do you guys build stuff out of wood out of play-doh out of cookie dough cakes maybe my big thing right now is legos for some reason i have a million legos and i was cleaning them up and i started just putting stuff together and making like little spaceships and i was like this is this is fun let me let me grab a little set and i went and got another little lego set i already had lego sets in, built but i just got them because they're star wars but then uh i was sitting there playing with them i stumbled into a whole new community of legos like in this lego my instagram feed is just straight lego builds and it's like i didn't even know people bought lego kits and made their own custom kits out of lego kits i don't even know how to explain anyways the topic of this video is do you guys have any hobbies besides art and what's your inspiration and all that stuff because uh i have tons of art books i want to show you guys a few of my favorite pages and what gives me inspiration afterward i'll show you guys this little vlog stuff real quick the little me just shopping around then we'll yap a little bit about legos or what you guys like to do for fun besides draw and then I want to show you guys at the end my art book. So this video might be a little bit longer than usual. I'm not planning on it to be, but I have I have mucho art books, and I just got a couple more I haven't even opened yet. Like Onward and Tangled are not opened yet, but I have a lot of art books, and I want to show you guys my favorite pages from my favorite. Maybe we'll we'll make it short. We'll do my top. Four. We'll do my top four art books and I'll show you my favorite pages from those and what gives me inspiration to draw every day. And I look at these things and I'm just like, I gotta create something, man. And then maybe you guys have the same thing. You guys go on Instagram and all that. I know we talked about inspiration and all that and how to get out of art block, but we didn't really go in depth on inspiration, you know? So my inspiration's here, all my toys, Spider-Man. I'm saving these stupid Coke cans now. They just keep making stuff for me to buy. And now I'm collecting Coke cans like a dummy. Yeah. Don't. It's alright. It's okay. If I get really, I'm really thirsty right now. So if I get really thirsty, I'm gonna drink one of those. And I was just saying, like, I don't drink soda, but I'm like parched right now. I feel like an ice cold beverage would. Whatever. I'm yapping. You guys know me. I yap. Anyways, all right. Let's get into the vlog stuff. Um, thank you guys for all the love on last video and those videos before that i'm still getting comments on that instagram we just hit 75k and we're doing a draw this in your style challenge i'll talk about that in this video too so if you guys want to be in that we're gonna give away stickers and first place winner gets a um gets a original art anywho thank you guys for being here thank you for watching um let's uh, watch these clips and uh give me your thoughts in the comments on inspiration and also what do you like to do besides draw I don't know, not everybody here is an artist. You guys are just here to look at me, right? Because I'm cool? Okay. I need to shave. All right, peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
poutine, bro. That cheese pool. Oh my god, the potato pufferinos. Let's take a bite. good that's some good stuff okay just go back from the art store and the lego store and this is what i got i got a few things a couple things i got a couple little mini figures three little mini figures i will not i probably won't open those here but that's what i got and then i went to blick and I finally found a well, color erase pencil. This is cool. Erase replacement pencil. For some reason, at Michael's and all the art stores in my area, they do not have these. I don't know why. So I had to go an hour away to Blake and get these. And I finally found them. They didn't have red. I wanted red. But I got blue and green. Those are good. And I got this new Stadler Luma Color Permanent like brush pen. Um, this one writes really good. I don't know what it was about it. I tried like every pen there. This one was just. This was just it. You know, you just find them once. I don't know if you guys remember in my last vlog, I said I went to Michael's to find an old pen that I have, which is this pen right here. The Zig Memory System. I don't know, writer for Vellum. This pen right here is like one of my favorite pens because it has that thick tip and then the skinny tip and it just, the ink is just dark. I love it. But this is the closest I've found so far. And they only have it at Blick for some reason. So I got that. And then I grabbed this um, art creation sketchbook. It's 94 pounds, which is pretty good. Let's actually open it and check it right now. So I got this book because I'm doing a big convention in August. And a lot of my favorite comic book artists are going to be there. So my plan is to commission some of my favorite artists. Like, not just, like, big artists, but, like, smaller artists as well that are, like, artist alley people I, I meet I want to commission them in this book to only draw spider-man so I want everybody's version of spider-man everybody's style so it's kind of gonna be it's gonna be like my own little personal art book that I have at my my house like the coffee table book or whatever they call it but let's check the quality of the paper because 94 pounds I tried like 80 pounds 60 pounds and it was too thin and it seems like 94 is okay. It's not good for markers though. I love how it's like yellow though. It's not like fully white. But yeah, I don't know if these will be good for markers and that's what I wanted those to be good for markers. Um, let's see, it says charcoal graphite crayon ink and watercolor. So if it's good for watercolor, it should be good for markers. I don't want to test it though because I want this to just be for conventions anyways i grabbed this book because i want to do commission get because i want to get commissions from my favorite artists and i want them to only draw spider-man and this book's going to be just straight spider-man i'll put, probably put like a spider-man sticker on the front and the first person i want to draw on it is humberto ramos humberto ramos he i was again at his commission list he posted over the week i think he said he charges 200 for just a black and white sketch which is crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. He should charge a lot. But when I first met him in like 2015, he was charging, I think, like 75 or 100 bucks, which was crazy cheap back then. And back then, I was just like, oh man, let me just buy a print. And I just bought a print off him and I regretted it every day. I should have got a commission. But now he's charging 200 or 400. He's a goat, though. I gotta, I gotta get it from him. So that's all I got on this little haul. All right, let's get back to me yapping or whatever I was talking about. Let's go. Let me let you guys in on a little secret. I have hobbies that are not art related, but 
I use them as art related hobbies I guess it all it's all a creative circle it all comes back I know we talk about it like all my videos how do you find inspiration and do you guys do anything else that's not art related that's also like a hobby and let me tell you the secret I recently discovered Legos it's like this new thing that everybody's just like into right now for some reason and I am now addicted for some reason Legos are running my life right now they got me in a chokehold and I don't I can't explain why I was basically gonna use like certain Legos I was building like random shapes and stuff like that I was gonna use them as reference for like ships I had a story idea about space I needed ship designs so I was building ship designs out of Legos taking pictures of them that's where it started that's where I went down the wrong path instead of building Lego ships let me try the minifigures and I could use those as inspiration for my character designs so I bought a couple minifigures and I ended up buying a couple more and then I bought a couple more and then I started buying sets and now I'm addicted and it's like crack and I can't stop but I'm not looking at it as a negative because when I'm not doing art I have a couple other hobbies that I use as inspiration for my art. A few examples would be like basketball for my comic. That's I love playing basketball. I grew up playing basketball every single day and I use that as an inspiration for my comic book. And then when I watch like anime, uh, you can say anime is like a hobby, right? Some people just watch it as like a hobby. I use that for like pose inspiration and story inspiration, art style inspiration, and then reading books is a hobby and I use that to get more ideas for my stories and then also like cooking I love to cook I could be like a studio Ghibli artist or something that, that's more inspiration right there my hobby turns into art inspiration everything is art inspiration I guess is what I'm trying to say even like photography I don't show the process a lot but I do some for, I don't do photography crazy I'm not like the best but I take pictures of my action figures and then I'll upload them to like Photoshop and I'll use those as reference too. So all my hobbies, man, I'm telling you, it circles right back to art. I mean, technically they're all art. Photography's art anyway, but it's good to get like photos of like sceneries and landscapes for color palette inspiration or something like that. So technically I never really get a break from art because I'm always looking at everything as inspiration. Like everything I watch, everything I play, I'm like searching for inspiration. Another example would be, I just finished the Fallout show, which was crazy. I loved it, it was perfect. If you guys didn't know, I wanna say I'm a diehard Fallout fan because I don't really collect too much stuff. And I feel like people say, if you collect stuff, you're a real, I have Nuka-Cola bottles, okay? I'm a fan, okay? Anyways, I was watching the show, but I, when I was watching it, I was mainly paying attention for like the cinematography and the lighting. I was trying to remember certain time steps so I could go back to certain scenes and screenshot and study the color palettes and the composition and all that, because I, I really suck at composition. I need to work on that. I think I said this before, but composition is my weakness, but I'm working on it. Is this a good thing or is this a, a bad thing? Or is this an artist thing? It's like a gift and a curse, I guess. But those are like my main thoughts for like anything. I always i'm just like right now i'm recording this i'm looking at this cricket in front of me for inspiration just the shape and the color or when i go to like disneyland i'm always wondering how do they decide the placement of these buildings or how do they choose the colors for these buildings or how do they figure out what shop goes where i know it's all like marketing is the marketing guy an artist maybe but i'm constantly trying to grow and get better at art so i'm constantly just absorbing as much inspiration as i can everywhere i go even the bathroom but my biggest problem is thinking can i absorb all this knowledge and incorporate it all into my art or will i just waste all this information and just constantly consume but never produce a gift and a curse man anyways what are some of your favorite things to get inspiration from like movies or cartoons or games whatever and what are some of your favorite non-art hobbies that cycle back into your art for example legos i'm playing with legos and i'm drawing legos I'm using Lego ships to draw Lego ships. And do you guys like Legos? I need to know in the comments. I can't be the only one who likes Legos, right? Just comment it down below. And that's it for me. I am going to say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if you guys watched all the way through, this is like, we're like 15 minutes in. I still have to show you guys all my sketchbooks. But if you're still here, thank you. Um, draw the Senior Style Challenge is live right now on Instagram. I just posted it. We're giving away stickers and an original art piece. If you guys want to join in on that, I would appreciate it. 75K on Instagram, which is crazy to me still. I can't believe it. But uh, shout out to my Patreons. This week's super Patreon is Baratsky, aka ZK, aka Ray. He's a super Patreon this week. Every week, I'm going to have a super Patreon. So if you guys want to join the sticker club, please click the link in the description. This month's sticker is going to be... a a nice big chunky one and we're also almost at 30k subs here on youtube i think we need about 100 more so if you're not sub please sub if you're still watching this far thank you sub drop a like all that stuff and uh now i'm gonna finish off the video with my art books and my inspiration for my art books you guys can go ahead and watch that you guys can skip but i recommend watching it because i show you guys some heat
in this part. I show you some heat. All right. Have a good one. Peace out. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of my art books. I didn't grab them all. I only grabbed like five, I believe I have. I have way too many. But I was thinking if you guys want to see any other art books, if you maybe I could dedicate a whole video to just one art book and we'll just talk about my inspiration from that book. We'll make it like a little series. If you guys want to see that, please comment below. Let me know. But I grabbed my top like five or six right here that I always look at. I usually keep them on my desk, but I just clean my whole area, as you guys know. So I put all my books back. But now that they're off my bookshelf, they might stay here on my desk. But first, I wanted to go over Coteri Inc., a also known as Roosh, but uh, mainly Coteri Inc. on Instagram. I'll, I'll put this link down below, but this one's like always on my desk. This is like one of my favorite, like not only Instagram artists accounts that I follow, but I just finished reading his comic book and man, a lot of good storytelling. But uh, this is one of my favorite artists. I actually got to meet him in 2019 at Anime Expo. Super cool, dude. All right, as you can see, he does a lot of pen sketches. I feel like he doesn't use pencil. I don't think I ever seen him do a sketch and then ink it. I feel like he just goes straight into the inks, which is dope. I don't know how he does. That. I don't have enough skill for that, but I'm working on it. I'm going to be better. I promise I'll be better. Uh, but yeah, I followed him a long time ago and his anamorphic styles, like what caught my eye. I love the anamorphic stuff. He does it like crazy. His Pokemon, look at his Pokemon are so crazy. And But these, this one right here. I remember when he posted this on Instagram, I don't know what it is, but I think he used like a texture brush or something. That's there. Like you could see, it looks like it's like on a canvas. But um, I've been looking at his work a lot because he does a lot of urban like area and his characters look super like, like the stuff he draws, I feel like I live there kind of. Does that make sense? Like I can't even think of the word. I basically resonate with his art and what he draws and the people he draws i feel like it's people i actually know if that makes sense but anyways this i'm taking inspiration from this because i just remembered about this piece but i already had this image in my head of a cover i wanted to do for my comic it's almost exactly how i pictured it in my head but without even remembering that he did this piece but i'm going to use this as inspiration for a cover i have that i'm working on um inspiration that's what I'm going to use. But um, that's this book, Coteri Inc., always on my desk. Favorite top five artists ever. That's Coteri Inc. I'll drop him in the description. And then also we have Andrew Cockroach. Andrew Cockroach is probably one of my first artists I saw on Instagram that I just like love. I don't really care too much for the anime art style, but he does something to they're more like bubbly looking. I don't know how to explain it. He does like his own take on like an anime style. It reminds me a lot of when I was like a kid. I would um I don't know if they were art books. It could have just been like game informer type books or like game manuals or something like that. Where it was like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. I remember my dad would get them and then I would take them and I would draw like all the characters in those. But I wish I had that art still, man. That would be so sick to see. But I would draw all those characters. His art style really reminds me of that classic 90s gaming manual books i'll show you guys a few pages from this i don't want to go too in depth because you guys i don't want to like spoil it for him like you guys should have to man this is crazy the shoes are crazy because they kind of look like well they are jordan ones but they're like boxing shoes but i don't know how he chooses his color palettes they're just like perfection Like, look at this. I don't know how he colors. I took his art class, but I I just paid for it. And I never actually got to, like, do it. I'm going to read. I want to redo it. Um, it's one of those art classes where you just pay for a subscription. And there's no, like, accountability if you don't show up or nothing like that. I feel like those are the hardest ones to do. Because you could just buy them and then never show up again. And there's nobody there to tell you, where's your homework? And this and that. But anyways, his colors are crazy. Dragon Ball Z, obviously, One Piece, I love, but his, like, original stuff. A lot of his stuff is inspired by gaming. This one's so good right here. Oh, his sketches in the back. This is, and all his sketches are, like, I feel like these eyes right here, I kind of get inspired by those eyes. 
and recently I've been doing eyes like this kind of but I don't know if you could see in my work some inspiration I take from him obviously I'm not as good as him but like these eyes here I'm pretty sure like these eyes right here I'm pretty sure I draw like something similar or like this one with the little eyebrows like that anyways let's go on to the next one this one is the art of max yuliki i'm not sure if i said that right either but i got to meet him at lightbox 2022 i believe and i didn't really buy anything at lightbox i went to lightbox with the intention to buy art books and prints and stuff like that this is probably the only art book i bought and it's because I was just so overwhelmed with all the art there. It was just like crazy. Everything was so sick. And then I was like about to leave and I saw him and I was like, yo, let's talk. We chatted and then uh, I got this. I love his style because it's like super painted and it kind of looks real, but it's like a character. He exaggerates a lot. I love it. I feel like I'm aiming for that style. Look at this Mario. Look at this Mario. Look at that Mario. I'll just show you guys a few pages. Super high quality book too. Like it's pages are thick, like super thick. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it? Snape, Professor Snape. Okay, let's see if I have a favorite page. Everything Spider-Man I love. This Spider-Man. Almost Deadpool-esque vibes. I really want to like not steal his style but imitate the painted look i really love the painted look the textures Ugh! one day i'll be there oh my gosh this one's so sick i'll show you one more page let's see that's cool some sketches looks like brush this is probably digital huh yeah i'm pretty sure it's digital Anyways, this is his book, Max Yuliki. He's an art director. Anyways, cool dude. I met him. He's cool. I like him. A lot of the artists I met are cool. I never met. I don't think I met. Maybe actually I have met some bad artists. Mm, forget I said that. Um, This one I feel like should be in everybody's collection. The most easiest one. Again, I think it's on sale on Amazon right now. When I got this, I pre-ordered it. It was like 30 to 40 bucks, I think. Let's see how much was it. Yep, 40 bucks. I pre-ordered it for $40. And I think it's on Amazon for like 17 to $20 right now. I, last time I saw it, maybe like a week ago. Maybe it's not no more, but. Okay, this should be in everybody's collection. Anyways, this one's super good. This one's like, I imitated the style a little bit when the movie came out. And I don't know if you guys noticed my... I don't do it too much on my style, but I love sketchy, unfinished looking artwork. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I think Spider-Verse is what inspired me the most to do that. Even though my art style does not look like that, it doesn't look that rendered, but once this movie came out, this one really set it off for me. Like to have a sketchy, unfinished look. I love it. I don't know why. And buildings. Oh my gosh. I wish I knew how to do building. There's so many art classes I want to take that I know about, but I haven't taken them. Ugh, time. Why is time going to be such a hole? Why is time going to be such a little bopper? Look at this. This is like not even like finished, but it's like sketchy. It looks so cool. Mutants. Anyways, I suggest this book. This one's cool inspiration. A lot of reads about the characters, but then you see like this stuff, like the designs. Oh. Maxim Mary. What a sick name. Check this one out for sure. But this one. Oh man, this one. Remember, remember when this movie came out? Oh man, this movie is so sick. I watched this movie like 10 times. Sony Pictures is like. Damn, Sony, please. Let me just clean toilets in your building, please. Or get coffee. I'll get coffee. Anyways, this one too, also the sketchy. You guys could probably get my main inspiration just from the sketchy, like, outlines and textures. Look at this stuff, man. I'm just skimming through, too. So if you guys want to, I say go to Barnes & Nobles and just skim through it yourself. Or just, these are always on sale on Amazon. 
you know which one i want the art of the bad guys i feel like that art style is like akira toriyama's art style a little bit oh it's so good the big eyes the big eyebrows but look at this like man who how how do you do this when 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 will i be there big inspiration for me this book i don't want to show too much of it but look at the um just look at the cover the textures the textures man the textures what i love i love the textures and that all that texture all the texture okay we got one more before we get out of here which is uh everybody's favorite it might be a little bit overrated maybe I might be basic for saying that this one's very good. The first book is better, but I wanted to show this one because it's smaller and it has a lot of characters in it right off the bat. Dope. Let's get to some of my favorite. This one right here. These buildings for some reason. Oh, Zach Retz. Zach, I need to look up Zach. Zach Retz, remember that? Zach Retz did this. And then Christopher Anka. Oh my god. His Spider Man 2099. The Zach Retz went crazy here. All this watercolor stuff just makes me want to do watercolors, man. I don't know. Just help me. Help me get into it. I gotta get into it. Perfection. All these spot alternate designs. This is why I love these books. They show all the alternate. This one looks crazy to me. Crystallized. I like it though. That's pretty cool. This one. I don't know. This one's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm looking for the. All right. Jesus Alonso Iglesias. I actually have his art on my walls, which is pretty crazy. Pretty good. Love it. Inspiration. These are so dope. Like the way they made 2099 so jacked. Oh, man. And his suit is inspired by like Day of the Dead, which is like one of my loves. I just love it all. The whole Day of the Dead stuff. If you guys don't have this book, you just need to get it. Look at the villains. The villains are so good. So much inspiration everywhere. Look at that. It's like Agent Venom a little bit. But I like this book because there's a lot of these characters that you don't. I don't feel like the first book has a lot of that. The, the first book has a lot of like. Uh, what's the word? Exploration. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look at this stuff. I think this is done by Alicia Chen. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking of. Look at this. Like I'm not I'm not too into building like backgrounds yet, but I'm getting there. Like painting them. Oh, I want to be there so bad. But look at these. Look at that top. Look at that top left one right there. God. I'm just skimming. I'm just skimming. Man, I could skim all day so good anyways this is where i get a lot of my inspiration is from my art books whenever i'm trying to figure out something to draw i'll either hop on pinterest or i'll grab an art book skim through it for a little bit and then i'll get like inspired like i'm inspired right now um to do some miles g fan art because somebody wrote me and was asking about miles g and i'm like i got some miles g art but like now that i'm sitting here looking at it i actually want to do some miles g artwork oh man anyways that's all you gotta do i'm telling you if you guys are in your little art blocks your little unmotivated things hop on pinterest grab yourself a little book just get inspired like if you look at all these how could you not be inspired by this stuff how could it not make you want to draw i understand looking at him be like damn i'm not that good but then i look at him like i want to be that good so i gotta draw like this or i gotta start practicing Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for my inspirations. Maybe I'll do another video just on one art, but go more in depth, break it down, put some notes in it. 
But if not, please just comment and let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm either going to start talking, start yapping again about something else, or it's the end of the video. Uh, if it's the end of the video, thank you for watching. Peace out. But if it's not, I don't have these things planned out. I just do them as they go. So uh, I'll see you guys in a minute, or I won't. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye.